For this question, we're told the length of a rectangle is six yards longer than its width. The perimeter of the rectangle is 36 yards, and we're asked to find its area. So ultimately, we're looking for area, but the information that they gave us may not be exactly obvious what we're going to do with it. So first, we're told the length of the rectangle is six yards longer than its width, that first sentence. So I went ahead and drew a rectangle here, and since I know the length is six yards longer than the width, I'm going to call the width x. That way I can call the length x plus 6, because it is 6 yards longer than the width. So this diagram is really going to help me. The next piece of information that I have is that the perimeter is 36. So if the perimeter is 36, the way we get the perimeter is we add up all of the links surrounding the rectangle. So I'm going to add the first one, x plus 6, plus the next one, which is x. But of course, I've got two other sides here, and since it's a rectangle, they have to be the same. This one is x plus 6, like the top, and this one is x, like the right-hand side. So I'm going to add those as well, plus x plus 6, plus x. Now I'm adding up all four sides. That has to be 36. So now that we have an equation and only one variable x, we can work on solving it. If we look on the left-hand side, there are some like terms. All of these x's are like terms, and each one of them is a 1x. So I have 1x plus another one plus another one plus another for a total of 4x's. So those terms add up to be 4x, and then looking at the numerical terms, I have a plus 6 and a plus 6. Those will add up to be a plus 12. And the other side will still be 36. So solving this for x, I just need to get the x by itself. I'm going to subtract that 12 over to the other side. That will cancel on the left-hand side, leaving me with just a 4x. And then on the right-hand side, the 36 minus the 12 gives me a 24. So we've almost solved it for x. We just need to get rid of that 4. So I undo multiplication by dividing by 4. But if we divide by 4 on the left, I have to also divide by 4 on the right. And when those 4's cancel, I have the x by itself and a 6 on the other side. 24 divided by 4. So we've solved for x, but we haven't answered the question. Remember, we're looking for the area. So I'm going to take those 6's, and I'm going to plug them back in up here. And I'll see that this one, this side is 6, this side is 6 but the ones on the top and bottom are x plus 6. So if x is 6, 6 plus 6 is 12. So 12 and also 12. So our rectangle is actually 6 by 12. So to find the area, we're going to use our formula that says area equals length times width. And now that we know the length and width, we're going to plug those in. Area equals the length is 12 yards, and the width is 6 yards. And multiplying, we get area equals 12 times 6, or 72, and yards times yards gives us yards squared. So our area for this rectangle is 72 yards squared.